Pool B, it was Belgium against Germany. We join the action in set one. It's 23-22 for the Germans. Rose Hogg with the ball. And it's set points for Germany. After that desperate lunge. Rousseau for Belgium. <laughs> Oh, the agony. Well, it was a good point to end the set, but the attempt at a Belgian spike was well out, and so Germany win the first set to 22 into the second set and it was all going Germany's way. They are one of the favourites for gold and this was their second set point. Another one slips past. Steiker overhitting it, missing the baseline by some way. We are just checking this. Mine attention in view of the fact that it's so comfortable for Germany in this set. And there was a touch. So that's it. That's the end of set two. In set three, Belgium had already saved three match points and were only just hanging on. It was 24-21. Germany putting pressure on Belgium. It was a bit of a mess, but it was enough. Here's the end of the match. It'd be nice to have finished with one of those uh, super German spikes. So another impressive win for Team Germany, 3-0 over Belgium, and the win takes them to first place in Pool B. Because um, the start of the week I had a back problem and I didn't have the most confidence ever in the competition and I was a bit like, it was almost like a mind game, I was playing mind games with myself because I was scared that I would have to pull out and I was hoping to pull through and luckily I did and it just all worked out. Honestly it was the, one of my best, well the best experience of my life. Um, he obviously, you know, getting getting this obviously made it a lot more better. <laughs> We are the best team supporters because we really love to see each other succeed. So, and it's really nice when you stood on the board and you can hear them all yelling for you, like really behind you, and yeah, it just it just feels so great. <laughs> Literally, upon entering into the water, when I thought I've landed on my head, I think that was okay. I don't know if the underwater cameras caught it, but I kind of went like this, <laughs> like fist pumped underwater, because I thought, I think that's enough to do it. I mean, I didn't expect it at all. So the fact that I was, I was shocked with my bronze alone, and then when I bumped up to silver and then a gold, yeah, it was incredible. My grandpa was a Commonwealth gold medalist. He got three Commonwealth golds. And then we were living out in America because my dad was in the military and we were based, he was based out there. And then we were moving back and he came over to visit and he just said, give diving a go because he saw me diving in the pool in our garden. So yeah, came, moved back and jumped in.
uh, sport from the last century. It was uh, born in Soviet Union. It uh, uh, was a good basic, uh, judo, uh, and the national styles of uh, Soviet Union republics. Russia, Ukraine, uh, strong uh, players from uh, Kafkas, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Armenia too, and the strong players from uh, Asian republics. Our goal in the future will take part in the Olympic Games. Please welcome on mat A sample players under 74 kilos in men's sample quarter final. Lolita Pes, Victoria Dain, La Cote, Victoria Dain, Victoria Dain, Alpita Psied, Larim.